my dear students we have already learned how to prepare a refreshment income statement or refreshment trading account for the club we have already made an income and expenditure account and finally we are in a position to make a statement of financial position that is a balance sheet for the club first of all they will be heading the name of the club then statement of financial position as you may be aware from your earlier studies that normally statement of financial position is made in three columns first of all this is based on the accounting equation that is assets is equal to capital plus liabilities first of all we have assets there are two types of asset one is non current asset and then we have current asset then we have three column for non current asset we have already studied this previously cost accumulated depreciation and net book value cost is the original cost for uh, the asset we have bought accumulated depreciation also known as provision for depreciation is the total depreciation charge till date and net book value is the remaining value after charging the depreciation till date for example we have an asset clubhouse the cost is this and the accumulated depreciation is this if we deduct accumulated depreciation from cost we will be getting the net book value then we have uh, equipment for canteen now you may be aware that we have made two income statement one for canteen and one for the entire club but for the as far as the statement of financial position is concerned my dear students will be making a statement of financial position for the entire club including the cafe including the canteen okay so there are uh, all of the assets will be added here whether they belong to the club or whether they belong to the cafe or shop or bar so the canteen equipment is also there uh, if we do not have cost and accumulated depreciation and we have only one value given in the question that is net book value will be writing it in the net book value column directly so if we add up all of these two uh, net book values this is the total for non current asset do not need to label it then we have current assets first of all we have inventory and the inventory is basically refreshment inventory and there will be a closing inventory all of the items will be coming on the second uh, column and the total would be coming on the third column okay then we have subscription there are two types of subscription one is subscription in arrears or accrued or owing subscription in arrears mean my dear student we have provided facility to our members but the members has not yet paid us the amount due okay so th this is a receivable for the club then we have other receivable maybe prepaid expense prepaid rent and, and any such thing then we have bank balance if we have it and we have cash balance if we add up all of these uh, current assets this will become total and if we add non current assets and current assets this becomes total assets so basically after total assets there come capital and liabilities but in a not for profit organization or club accounts we never use the word capital okay capital is word never used instead of writing capital and liability as a heading we'll be writing only liabilities okay total liabilities so instead uh, there is a format for capital you may be remember uh, you may uh, remember that from your earlier studies that is opening capital at profit for the year less drawing uh, instead of writing opening capital we'll be writing opening accumulated fund now what is this accumulated fund my dear students uh, accumulated fund is an alternate name for capital which will be using in a not for profit scenario okay instead of writing the word capital we will be using accumulated fund so how can we calculate capital as you may be aware when you have studied single entry incomplete records i also referred to it previously that not for profit organizations are made using single entry or incomplete records principles okay uh, opening capital is fined by uh deducting opening liabilities from opening assets okay so the capital uh, or opening accumulated fund is the same thing opening assets minus opening liabilities now all of the assets will come here whether there are non current assets or current assets all of the assets should come on 1st january that is start of the year so the, this is the club house this is the end of the year value we will be uh, wanting to write the a start of the year value then the canteen equipment also start of the year value then the inventory also the, this is a closing inventory will be writing opening inventory in order to calculate opening capital then the cash should also be opening all of these values are opening assets uh, you must also remember one thing that this uh, canteen equipment or any other asset we need to write the net book value if we are given the cost and we are also being given the provision for depreciation we need to deduct provision for depreciation from cost in order to calculate the net book value okay so after asset we need to deduct the liabilities opening liabilities are basically all of the liabilities at the start of the year refreshment creditors creditors are basically trade payables 
then we have other payables or if there is any sort of loan we have taken from some organization or what we need to add this as well opening assets minus opening liabilities my dear student just become opening accumulated fund we won't be right, uh, using the word capital instead we'll be using the word accumulated fund only the terminology is different all other things remain the same uh, now as you may be aware in opening capital we add profit for the year uh, in this question uh, we won't be writing profit in a not for profit we will be writing surplus instead of profit okay these terminologies are important we will be writing surplus instead of capital uh, and one more thing uh, uh, instead of using cash book okay or, or a bank account we use the word uh, uh, receipt and payment account okay instead of using cash book the examiner will use the word receipt and payment account receipt and payment account is the name for the cash book in a not-for-profit scenario okay so if there is a loss for the year we'll be deducting a, a deficit and if there is a profit we'll be adding surplus okay surplus is added and deficit is deducted then there is one more thing that we need to write here and that is donation of a capital nature Donation of a capital nature, we have already uh, discussed this, that if the donation is of a revenue nature, we will be uh, writing that donation in an income and expenditure account. But if the donation is of a capital nature or for some specified purpose or the donor has given donation uh, for us and he or she has dictated us that we need to spend this money in that uh, uh, use okay uh, maybe to buying an ambulance or some so specified purpose so this there is a donation of a capital nature and uh, we need to write it in a uh, capital section of a statement of financial position okay this is a closing capital now finally if we have a loan non-current liability we need to write it here if we have uh, taken out loan from some association maybe cricket association or football association if it's a football club okay then we have current liability maybe trade payables for refreshment uh, trade payables creditors are there and if there is a subscription uh, that is prepaid that is advanced subscription advance my dear student means that that we members have paid us the money but we haven't yet uh, provided the services to member and if we are unable to provide service to the member we need to return that money to our members so therefore it is a liability for the business then there are other payables maybe accrued expense or accrual of wages and that's okay so if we add uh, capital and liabilities, this is the total, uh, but we won't be writing the term capital. Instead, we'll be writing only liabilities. Okay. Total asset is equal to total liabilities. And this is matched. This means total assets is matched with total liability. This means our statement of financial position is correct altogether. Okay. So my dear students, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I hope I was able to explain you the underlying concepts behind not-for-profit organization and club accounts. And if you like the video, kindly do subscribe to my channel and also refer other students. Thank you.